back. Coming up on Wednesday, Americans from coast to coast will unite as one to salute Veterans Day. In anticipation of our annual November ritual, we learn of a Grand Island man who found a unique way to show his gratitude to the troops. And with that story, we invite in our Lance Schwartz. Hi, Lance. Hello, hello. Good to be with you tonight. I think from time to time, all of us Americans look for a way that we can properly say thank you to the brave men and women that have defended and are defending our nation's freedom. Six years ago, Craig Schonenberg discovered a way to show his appreciation by incorporating his lifelong passion for bow hunting. It was back in 2009 when Craig Schonenberg first learned the story of a soldier from Aurora who had returned home from his third deployment in Iraq. That soldier shot a deer in Nebraska and had all of the meat turned into jerky and sent overseas for two important reasons. Number one, jerky's a, a commodity like gold over there. And number two, anything from home means the world to them. Craig got to thinking. Maybe it's something I could do on behalf of the Nebraska Bow Hunters Association. We could have bow hunters donate meat. They did, and Craig sent 300 pounds of jerky to Iraq. This 1966 graduate of Grand Island Northwest High School thought he was done. He was wrong. Since then, the project's kind of taken on a life of its own. I'm up to about 4,700 pounds of processed finished jerky that I've shipped to Iraq and Afghanistan. You heard that right, folks. Craig is responsible for sending nearly two and a half tons of processed deer jerky to our troops over the past six years. Usually, I can get uh, anywhere from 10 to 12 pounds of jerky per. Per box. This started out as a one-man operation, but over time has grown to include many, many more people. The help I've had uh, with, with funding this, it, it gets expensive, um, you know, processing the jerky and, uh, and, and, and shipping it. Sergeant Packing Company and Sergeant Nebraska stepped up and said they would do the jerky processing for a reduced rate. And a wide variety of organizations have donated more than $10,000 to Craig's Jerky for the Troops project. Grand Island Public Schools has been the, the single largest monetary contributor to the Jerky for Troops project. And Greg Cush has led the push from the Islanders. I knew I would have connections to help him get venison. And Craig has turned that venison into gold for hundreds and hundreds of American troops. What does it mean to you, Craig, to have received all of these incredible heartfelt responses over what you've accomplished? I, I, I don't know. I, I guess I don't have the words for it. it. It's just been overwhelming. I applaud Craig's efforts in this Jerky for the Troops project. And if you'd like to help Craig, either financially or by donating a deer or a portion of your deer, go to the Lance's Journal page at 1011now.com and I'll show you how to get involved. And to all of our proud American veterans, especially my dad Hank and my brother Reed, thank you for so unselfishly mm -hmm. serving our country. And you brought back some jerky, it's pretty tasty. Right. I did, this is gold <laughs> over there. It's pretty darn good in America too. That it is. Hold on to it, Bridget will eat it if you're not looking. There Stick you around, go. come up at your forecast next for you.